I guess career musician would be the you would be I guess what people see you as. Yeah, um, I've played music all my life. I uh, I grew up in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Moved out to Hollywood, California, and uh, when I was eighteen, and just played in bands. I'm mainly a guitar player. Yeah, um, played in a lot of bands. Did a lot of touring. A lot of low level touring. A lot of small mid level touring. Yeah. You know, lots of vans. Lots of bands. And um, always did my own thing, but always played with other people. And then that shifted to doing more of my own stuff. And, you know, long story short, now we're here and I play yeah. here and yeah. do it here. So you said grew up in Minneapolis. Yeah. What was that like growing up? You know, it's fun. I was thinking about that on the way over because I feel like everywhere I've lived, uh, people have misconceptions about. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, Minneapolis was a great place to grow up. I grew up in the city, in the southwest southwest part of the city. And it was great. Minneapolis has its uh, share of problems uh, lately, nationally, mm. you know, recognized problems. Um, but uh, it was a great place to grow up. Um, I don't get there back there much often, uh, but all my family is still there. And it was a great place to also grow up playing music, too, because I've been doing it since I was like six or seven. And yeah. You know, playing parties with kids and stuff. You know, right. starting it young. So it was. It was. A, I loved Minneapolis. I, I've. I've never identified really as a Minnesotan. Mm -hmm. You know, you I, sound I, like one. I, 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 yeah, <laughs> I have a hard time identifying with my geographic location yeah. wherever I am. But uh, no, I, I've always got a soft spot in my heart for, for yeah. that part of the country for sure. So predominantly a guitar player. Mm. I mean, how do you get into playing guitar from a young age? Who puts that guitar in your hand? My dad bought his. His brother's 1968 Gibson J45, that, and he bought it from him in 75 for like 400 bucks. Yeah. And he could play a little bit, but he kept it under the bed. And when I was about six, I started taking it out because I like smelling it. It was the same way with cigars. When I, I like, <laughs> I've always been a big fan of tobacco. Yeah, I love and the smell of it. I can't, I can't smoke it. But uh, unfortunately, I, I, I can you. smoke it. Yeah. You know? And so... With the guitar, I like to bring it out and smell it. it. Smelled so great, and the same thing. Like my my dad doesn't smoke, but he had a he had a friend give him a cigar, and he kept it in the cellophane, and he put it on the mantle, and I would take it down and smell it. Yeah. So it's all kind of smells. Okay. You know, but but I would I learned a couple of chords, and I would I would bang on it with a pick, and my dad would hold the chords, and so I got into it slowly that way. But it, it got real serious when I was about eleven. Okay. It, that was all I did. It, sports were no no longer important, or hanging out. I just, the, the first show I played was the sixth grade dance and I noticed there was a girl dancing and I was like, well, that's, that's, that's sold. it. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> she's dancing because of me, because of the yeah. sound that is coming out of this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that was, that was the start for sure.